Yo, 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 what is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, aka J Phoenix, and this is going to be your daily tarot on astrology reading for Tuesday, September 10th, of 2024. Appreciate you all joining me in this video. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful start to your week. Let's go ahead and hop into today's video, see what the card's saying, see what the planets are doing, to see how you can be better prepared to navigate these celestial energies. Well, right off the bat, I got the card of the moon. I have the moon card to start off today. So this is definitely going to be tapping everyone more into their emotional realm, into more of the subconscious as well. This moon is in Sagittarius, so I would just say pay attention to wherever you have Sagittarius in your chart because there's going to be much more activity there and definitely some themes coming up when it comes to that particular spot in your chart, wherever the moon is in Sagittarius. It's definitely going to be focusing more on the more idealistic aspects. The moon in Sagittarius is definitely very idealistic. Um, emotionally, can be a little bit all over the place. Definitely much more big picture and stuff. And, you know, moon and Sagittarius people or just that energy, we are reacting, responding more to your ideals and your beliefs uh, your big visions, education, those sort of things, right? So there's going to be much more focused on that. Um, the emotions, the subconscious, the things that we kind of keep, um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say hidden, but is also going to be dealing more with like past life stuff too that could be coming up here. I do have the five of pentacles in reverse, you know, so there's definitely a thing here the Five of Pentacles is feeling like you're being left out. It's feeling like you don't have enough. It's the feeling of lack. It's feeling like a victim. And with it being in reverse, this is definitely saying to not feel like a victim, to really pick yourself out of that kind of energy and put yourself in a place where you feel the abundance. You know, this is going to be a day where, like I said, with that moon of Sagittarius, Wherever that is in your chart, you may be feeling a little bit more down. This is about having a positive mindset, having a positive outlook, not ignoring the things that are happening in reality, right? Because we will see this moon get to squaring some energies today. It's going to end up squaring Saturn, right? It's going to be really close to squaring the sun. It's going to not quite be the first quarter square, but it's going to be very, very close to it as well. So, of course, we got to find that balance between looking at the big picture and being very idealistic, but also being real about it, right? The Five of Pentacles is saying in the reverse, it's like, we don't have to like, be so, so down in the dumps that we can't see the silver lining of things, you know? And that's really what it comes down to. Now, astrologically, like I said, with today, there doesn't seem like a ton of things happening exact. But we do have a lot of building energy. Like I said, we are building, of course, to that third quarter square, which will actually end up being a T-square between the moon, sun, and Jupiter. We will see that very soon. It'll be more of like a Wednesday aspect. But we will see the moon make some aspects today. We will see it make a sextile over to Venus here at 15 degrees, which is very nice. And it also will in turn make that square over to Saturn, of which is being quincunx by this Venus. So I think that kind of brings up the weird element here because Venus in Libra, especially at 15 degrees of Libra, is like the degree that I love to be at the most. It is balanced. One plus five is six. Six is the number of Venus. So this is where Venus thrives, it's 15 degrees. So the fact that it's here and it's making this aspect, the sextile over to the moon, does bring up the opportunity to be able to see on the positive side of things, even if things don't necessarily feel as balanced because this Venus is in quincunx to a Saturn retrograde in Pisces at 15 degrees, along with the ruler of Pisces, Neptune. And Saturn is trying to teach us how to you know, find structure, but still learn how to go with the flow. And, you know, there's a rigidity with Saturn, right? There's a necess there's a need to mature with Saturn. But here in Pisces, we also have to be, there, ha there have to be an adaptability here and a willingness to adapt, but to also still, you know, maintain our spiritual integrity in the process. So, you know, that moon making the square over to Saturn, 
course, that's not going to necessarily be easy. It's not going to be the most comfortable. But what an opportunity that can arise here is looking at that sextile between this moon and this Venus and the opportunity that arise to where we can find some common ground with people, especially when it comes to beliefs. We can find some common ground without sacrificing our spiritual integrity, without sacrificing our dreams, our visions, our goals overall. We don't have to sacrifice those things. And we can find that common ground if we really allow ourselves to open up and receive such. Because Venus is all about the way that we open up and receive things. This is going to be happening and this is going to be building up throughout the day. And we will see an apex here, you know, around 6.50 or so. You know, I would say like like 6.50. We'll see this really start to apex. Um, or just essentially we'll just say 6 o'clock to like 7 and 8 o'clock Eastern time. So for that two hour period, we're really going to feel this. Now, what's also building here, of course, is the opposition to Jupiter, which is now 20 degrees of Gemini, and also the third quarter square over to the sun, which will happen here on Wednesday, um, which will be like early, early Wednesday. Um, so we'll see that happen here, and we'll effectively get that T-square between the moon, sun, and Jupiter. We'll talk more about that on Wednesday, even though it is happening really early in the morning, at least if you're in Europe, you'll be waking up to this energy. If you're on the other side of the world, you'll have this energy throughout your day. So, you know, like I said, and this, of course, is happening on 9-11. So I think that's kind of interesting. The other interesting thing about this that's building up, of course, is that now that we're building up to this sun square Jupiter, the last time that we had the sun in Virgo, square Jupiter in Gemini was 2012. So we are going to be bringing up those energies again, are the 2012 energies, and you have to think back to your life. Where were you in September 2012? Because that was the last time that we even had a Sun in Virgo square a Jupiter that was in Gemini. So, you know, a lot of things definitely coming up, even though Tuesday itself doesn't seem like it's a lot happening astrologically, it is the buildup to what are going to be some rather powerful transits that are going to be on, our, on its way. Another one, of course, that's building that won't be exact will be the sun opposed Neptune. That won't quite happen in this week, but next week we'll be talking about that one. Um, of course, we're also going to be seeing Venus come into an opposition with Chiron soon as well. So we definitely have some things building up, and, Ven and Mercury, of course, will be exiting shadow. So just some things to keep in mind. For the final card of the day, I do have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I think this is an this is one of my favorite cards in the deck. This is I call this the in the lab card and the practice card. This is the taking 1,000 free throw shots card where you're constantly practicing your craft. But it's in reverse here. I think really what that comes down to is like, you know, there is a perfection I think that comes through repetition or definitely a level of mastery that comes through repetition. When the Eight of Pentacles is in, is in reverse, I think we have to ask ourselves if maybe if there's a procedure that we're doing continually, is it actually working? You know, is it actually improving? Is it actually doing something? Or is it remaining stagnant? I think it's like maybe the unfairness that we're feeling with the Five of Pentacles in reverse is maybe we feel like we have been putting in the work. We haven't been putting in the effort and we're not getting the results that we're looking for. So that could be part of it. And it's probably a lot to do with the frustrations with these squares. This moon in Gemini, squaring Saturn, getting ready to oppose Jupiter, squaring the sun. So there's there's a lot of stuff here, you know, and it's effectively a mutable cross. Like even though it won't be exact, the fact that the moon will be making aspects to these the the largest energies in the sun, Jupiter, and Saturn all within several hours of each other, that the fact that the moon will be making these aspects means that emotionally there's going to be a bit of a pressure on. Because this is mutable, this is the axis of perception as well. So we have to work on the way that we're perceiving our reality. You know, so I think that's really what this comes down to with this Eight of Pentacles kind of to wrap it up is how are we perceiving the hard work that we put in? Are we perceiving it as like, do we feel like there's like a means to an end? Do we, it was, what's our reasoning for wanting to do these things? I think a day like today, ask us why we do the things that we do and what is the purpose behind it? So we don't feel like we're just not, so it feels like we're not just doing something for no reason. We have to have a reason for it. 
I think there's also an element here of patience where, yeah, practice makes perfect, but sometimes it does take a while for things to come to its fruition and to manifest. So there is a level of patience that comes with the daylight today and just in general right now where things aren't going to happen immediately, but don't give up. Like, just don't give up, you know what I'm saying? So now for the Oracle card for the day, I have the card of consciousness, the card of consciousness. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multidimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. So this is, I mean, the moon rules the subconscious, but I feel like this is going to be bringing up things into our consciousness. So don't be surprised today if things just kind of come out of nowhere, past life stuff, past things from this life coming up, erupting out of your subconscious so you can be more consciously aware of it and address those things can make for a little bit of uncomfortable energy but at the same time if we approach this from a place of learning how to adapt being open and receiving these messages and receiving this energy so we can actually be constructive about it and go out into the world and do the best that we can and really put a a great foot forward and not you know get down on ourselves if we failed or if we feel like we may be failing you know, but to realize that, you know, that is temporary, that won't last forever, and that you can, in fact, make a difference. You can, in fact, make a change, even if it doesn't always feel that way. You're not going to feel 100% every single day, but that also means the opposite is true. You're not going to be feeling 5% every day. So if you feel like it's only 5% today, then give what you can within that 5%. If you're feeling 50% today, give what you can at 50% today. If you're feeling 100% today, give what you can at 100% today. And that's all that anyone can ask for. And that's all that God asks us to do. That's going to do it for your daily tarot and astrology reading. I trust that this message will assist you on your journey today. And just letting you know, a Cosmic Convergence will be coming out. I will be filming that here on Tuesday. Haven't quite figured out the exact timing, but we will be back to the regular scheduled programming, if you will. Um, so I will be doing that weekly astrology horoscope. I also will be doing another video for Mars and Cancer for each of the 12 signs. I'm either going to be doing that on Wednesday or Saturday. I haven't quite scheduled it out yet, but I'm going to figure something out. But that video will be coming to you all as well. I will announce um, more details on that when I figure out when exactly I'm going to do it. But y'all take care. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful Tuesday. I will see you all on the next video. Peace. <laughs>